Our next little video clip here is going to talk about how to use the quotient property for square roots. Now this is similar to the product property, except this time we've got a fraction, one thing divided by another. So the quotient property states that if you have a fraction that's within one radical sign, within one square root, say for example A over B, and those could stand for anything, you can separate those into the square root of A divided by the square root of B. Sometimes it's easier to do that for simplifying the problem, depending on what the numbers are. So an example of one of those would be the square root of 25 over 49. Now thinking of 25 over 49 as one fraction, I don't really know what the square root of that is. But if I split those up into two separate square roots, the square root of 25 over the square root of 49, now I know what each one of those is. I know the square root of 25 is 5, and I know that the square root of 49 is 7. So now my answer is just a simple fraction, 5 over 7. So you can use this in any situation with a numerical fraction, or if you have variables in the fraction, you can use that also, and that's called the quotient property for square roots.